All right, so this is going to be The Force Awakens, Star Wars, Episode 7, the long-awaited sequel. Three, two, one. There we go, the classic, A Long Time Ago in a Galaxy Far, Far Away, and Four Dots. This is going to be cursed. I have not seen this movie since high school, <laughs> I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think I probably haven't seen this since 2019, probably, when The uh, Rise of Skywalker came out. Blech. Oh, boy. Oh, are we going to do our classic... Oh, one word at a time? Yeah, 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 let's, yeah, do yeah. let's do it. Okay, you go first. Episode. S seven. The <laughs> Force. Awakens. Luke! Skywalker. Has... Vanished! In his absence? The Sinister first. Wait, fuck. We already... <laughs> we did not make it through that. No, this movie's too bad. It doesn't deserve it. No. Uh, but yada, yada, yada. Luke Skywalker's gone. Where the fuck do you go? I don't, I don't know. know. We wrote him out of the script. Uh, <laughs> he was too expensive. <laughs> yeah, too expensive. Although I'm pretty sure he wanted to come back, so we... 100% he wanted to come back. It wasn't really. <clears throat> Actually, in the writing of this, uh, the original screenwriter... What I find really... What? What I find really dumb is that it's just like, <clears throat> with the support of the Republic, she leads the Resistance. Oh, that whole thing, yeah. Why not just lead the fucking Republic? Because they wanted them to be like a weaker force and blah, blah, blah. They wanted to just ape <clears throat> A New Hope. Um, but it's just like, tell a new story. Yeah. Like, I don't... Ugh. I don't know, man. Like, I don't know what the obsession is with, like, oh, Rebellion or, like, the Resistance in Star Wars. It's yeah, always gotta be, it. like, oh, this little thing. Because, like, people love the Clone Wars, and that's the Republic versus the fucking Federation. Yeah. If anything, the Federation is the underdog in that story. Yeah, kind of, yeah. And arguably, the Federation was right, so... <laughs> <laughs> Do with that knowledge what you will. Yeah, let's, let's leave that. <laughs> leave that alone. <laughs> yeah, I remember... Going to see this, like, opening night in theaters. Theaters packed. Mm -hmm. I was hyped, little little young teenage Will. And, like, all of this looks so sick. Yeah. <sighs> it still holds up. Like, this is still pretty cool. Well, it's, like, one of the grittiest openings to a Star Wars movie, too. Like, yeah. this, this is sick. Mm -hmm. Like, props for how this opens. Like, I will agree. Mm-hmm. With the lights flickering and all the stormtrooper or not stormtroopers, forced order troopers. For, fucking they're stormtroopers. Stormtroopers. Storm light. Although I don't know how I feel about BB-8 still. Um, unnecessary, I think. Well, it's just like clearly they're trying to sell some more toys. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the toys! I remember all the merchandising and stuff for this movie was insane. It was like our generation's version of what happened with the Phantom Menace, yeah. where it was just toys everywhere that just sat. Although, saying it's our generation, we were, again, in that generation, well, arguably. Yeah, kinda, kinda, but not really. Like, we were both born after the movie came out. I know, but that's still just around <laughs> everywhere. It was still, yeah, it was still, it was still on the shelves. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> also, this freaking knockoff, uh, what's his name? Uh, the, the German documentary filmmaker. Werner Herzog, knock, knock off Werner Herzog. Oh, it's Max von Sydow. He's he's famous in his own right. Yeah, I know, but it's just kind of like the guy. He, <laughs> what do you want? Werner. Although they did get him to do fucking Mandalorian somehow. Yeah, so. it's such an odd casting. I don't know why he signed up to do that. Like it, that seems below him. Also, look how young Oscar Isaac looks. Yeah, he's so yeah. young and full of hope. Well, this was almost ten years ago now. Yeah, that's true. Fuck. I, I don't want to say that. That, that. that makes me feel old. That CGI looks a little wonkier than I remember. Yeah. Like, those ships, there's something about them that will look right. Mm -hmm. Although they're probably practical because of them running out of them. Uh, Parts of them are, probably. Yeah. Not when they land, I don't think, but oh, when... No. Something about that just looked off yeah. to me. But this was the most expensive movie ever made. I think it still holds that record, at least officially. I want to say there's got to be movies that have passed There, there probably are, but I don't think those are, like, officially confirmed. Because I had a budget of... Yeah, $447 million in 2015 money. Damn. Yeah. It did not pay off. <laughs> well, it did. They made it, it all back. Well, yeah, they made, you know, two and a bit billion dollars. But, I don't know. It was kind of downhill after that for the rest of the movies. I think they all cracked a billion, though, didn't they? Um, 
I don't think the Rise of Skywalker. Oh my god, look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the sequel aliens. They look really weird. It's, they're, I don't know. I feel like they're on par, but not. Mm. No, they're, they all kind of look the same. Why are the stormtroopers not killing him, even though he's standing right there? Yeah, we're in the middle of the <laughs> flamethrowing, like, people, and they're just like, oh no. This guy's gotta live. Wait, so they were on Jakku the whole time? Yeah. Oh. I forgot that. Now why doesn't Finn... Or Finn, Jesus. Why doesn't Poe just run off into the desert uh, <laughs> with BB-8? I don't know. Why is he, he, he die in the desert, presumably? Mm. <sighs> He'd be alright. Also! Uh, Finn and Poe have a pretty good relationship for Poe presumably murdering Finn's friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, clearly that... <laughs> that friend dying really meant a lot to him. Like, the blood and everything. Mm -hmm. Like, that clearly got to Finn. Yeah, he's traumatized. Look at him. <laughs> like... But he never, like, there's never any confrontation between the two of them for him killing him? No, no. Because cause Finn's the comic relief will. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> the horribly traumatized comedy relief. <laughs> they honestly, huge misstep to not deal with more of the trauma there. Yeah, or more of anything with that character. Because you could have actually, you know, had character arcs. Mm -hmm. Like, we rarely get to see blood in Star Wars. Yeah. So, like, this <laughs> means a lot to have it wiped down the side of the main character's face. Oh, I think I did when this came out, though. I did look at this and go, ugh. Mm. Like, of course they gave him a mask. Yeah. They also never explain who this guy is. I know it's explained in, like, outside media. Yeah, there's, like, a book or something that'll yeah. mention him. Or but I fucking hate when they introduce shit that is, like, oh, actually, you gotta go read this one book. Yeah, yeah read the novel. The tie-in book. Pay, uh, $25 Canadian to get the tie-in novel and, uh, read it. You know what is a good-ass Star Wars book, though? Which? Plagueis book. Plagueis book. I've heard it's good. I haven't read it yet. Oh, you should read it. I've got so many fucking Star Wars books. Well, <laughs> I know, but it's good. Is he in Game of Thrones? It wouldn't surprise me, but I don't think so. Yeah. Shoot the gun at the guy that has the lightsaber. That has worked for everyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he would know <coughs> about all that kind of stuff. That they could reflect bullets and stuff. He should know that. Yeah. He works for the friggin' resistance. Well, or he just apparently can force stop mm. lasers, which he also never does again. Yeah, that's true. And he gets shot in this movie, like, I think. Doesn't mm -hmm. he? Yeah, by Chewbacca. Like, I guess it was by surprise, but I don't know. Finn was trying to surprise him there, and yeah, it that, seemed that, to matter. Yeah, that so... would have been a surprise, too. Very hard to understand you already. And he was also in the middle of killing a, a father figure. So, you know. Pretty similar situation. Just gonna say it. I also think the whole thing of him messing with him feels too forced. Like, the whole, like, oh, I can't understand what you're saying. Because, <laughs> like, characters would mess with other characters, but not, like, main villain characters. They'd more fuck with, like, random background characters. Yeah, not in their establishing scene. Yeah. Uh. Also, just tonal <laughs> whiplash. Going from, like, do you talk first? Do I talk first? Who's talking here? To yeah. the, the Jakku massacre. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A bit inconsistent. Just gonna say it. Why would he even stop and look at him? Like, what does he care? I don't know, but it's more set up to stuff that doesn't get paid off. <laughs> also, the whole, like, Ugh. whoa. Wouldn't it make more sense to take the ship? Yeah, there's probably some information in there. A little bit of data you could retrieve. <laughs> like in the New Hope, when they capture the Falcon on the on the Death Star, they send the dudes with those like, freaking vacuum cleaners to go like get all the information out of it. Yeah, like what is that? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> Et. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> also, a bit of a missed opportunity to not do like some newer designs for these ships and stuff. Yeah. Well, at least they redesigned the interior. Not really. Kind of. A little. I don't know, I've never liked the first order. Why is he surprised about where he is? 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Where am I? Like, should we know? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, underutilized character development here that yeah. is just never really talked about ever again. Also, apparently Captain Phasma can teleport. <laughs> yeah, just appear at another... <laughs> yeah, like, I get it's a classic movie trope, but, like, clearly it's a distance to walk in yeah. and wasn't there before. Nope. And then just... Is there in two seconds? Yeah, I do love all this stuff. That's like establishing stuff with Ray. Yeah, sure. It's it's, it's amazing stuff. Um, it's good character building. It's interesting, but then again, this just never really goes anywhere. Not really, no. And like seeing the down like star destroyer that she's salvaging from. Mm -hmm. Also, you would think she would use more safety equipment than just her hands. Yeah, you'd think. Because, like, that was a far way down. What if your grip gets tired? Mm -hmm. I will say, though, John Williams is nailing it with the music. Especially all the new themes and stuff he made for this movie. Yeah, he killed it. A really good job. But um, he kills it in everything, so it yeah. doesn't, like, it's not a surprise. It's like when frickin'. LeBron James is good at basketball. It's like, yeah, obviously it's <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> With a surprise. <laughs> a shock. Yeah. But, yeah, they are... The themes go hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Ray's theme is probably my favorite out of all the sequel music. I think I like Kylo's the most. It's pretty good. Uh, Although I guess Ray's is probably used the most. Yeah. It's, it's more fleshed out, I think. Because you have this whole montage for doing stuff. I don't remember that giant dent in her speeder. Oh, I remember it. I think there's some dude's head over there. I want the the prequel movie to this movie, but it's the Rebellion versus the Empire of how all of these like ships crashed here. Uh, there's a book for that. Because like there's the. X-Wings, there's the Star Destroyers, mm. there's TIE Fighters. Like, what war went on here? Uh, well, in the lore, in the new canon, after they, they purged the EU, uh, there's a big battle on Jakku, and that was the final, last stand of the Rebellion, or of the um, Empire. Interesting. I guess the... Ah, uh, yes, nondescript object. I like this little scene, because she's, like, reflecting on what could be her in the future. <laughs> like, this is her life as she keeps doing this. Interrupted by, um, nonsense. Uh, it's, uh, Simon Pegg! It's Simon Pegg! Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most random Simon Pegg cameo that I don't think anyone yeah. necessarily remembers. Simon Pegg name. dressed as Nick Frost. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> There's some wagon fruit right there. Should have got Drew Carey to do that role. <laughs> he wouldn't have even needed makeup. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> nah, Drew Carey lost weight. It's good. Yeah, he's... Lost weight and suddenly grew hair. <laughs> Ray, you know you can use that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five Across. cross on you. <laughs> <laughs> and then instead of having a million lines you have to count, you can just do the old... Five, ten, One, yeah. fifteen, twenty. Ugh. There's just so many choices that this movie made that are really neat and then just not used ever again. Like mm -hmm. her living in a fallen. What is this? An ATAT? -AT? Yeah. Or an AT AT? AT AT! <laughs> Depending on how you want to be. Yeah. Like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. She just. You know, rushed past pretty quick. You know, I kind of wish Ray wasn't the main character. And I wish she, like, didn't have the Force. I wish she was just kind of, like... Kind of what Finn became in this trilogy. 
Have Finn be the Jedi character? Yeah. That that, that's what it seems like they're setting up. If I didn't know any better. Like, you make Rey more of the, like, Han Solo type character? Yeah. That wouldn't be interesting. Yeah. Especially because they, like, her and Han Solo build more of a relationship. Mm-hmm. Why does she threaten him? He's scavenging a droid. Like, it seems pretty fair. Why would she intervene? That seems like a normal thing to happen on a yeah. planet. Yeah. Yeah, but you also, like, rip apart things. Like, <laughs> wouldn't you have done the exact same thing? Yeah. I mean, Tito seems like he was within his rights of the <laughs> universe to, you know, his, his take galactic him. rights. Yeah. <laughs> His Jakuian rights. <laughs> Droids have no rights, so you can, you can do whatever he wants with this droid. Uh, he won't. He doesn't breathe air. <laughs> yeah. Apparently droids read facial expressions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> facial expressions, body language. These are advanced droids, Will. I guess. This is a BB unit, Will. Ain't no old R2, R1, <laughs> or even R4. This is advanced technology. This is true. <laughs> They've kind of updated the Star Destroyer design, but not enough to make a difference. They should have something completely unique. Also, they really just had him exposition dump. Oh yeah, Finn is the best pilot in the Resistance, and Pope, apparently that's <laughs> oh yeah, Poe. <laughs> but apparently that's a galactic known thing because Kylo knows about it. Yeah, like, why would they send him on the mission then? If he's like the best pilot, like most well known. Yeah, like it seems like the guy you keep back, you know. Mm. Where's the piece of resistance? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the cube? <laughs> Sham <Shamrock> wiki. <laughs> Ladies man, 4287. <laughs> the cube. You know what? There's one thing this cast is really good at. Pained screams. <laughs> There's a lot of those in this, this this trilogy. That's true. That's true. <sighs> and you know what? We know that uh, Oscar Isaac can nail it in a sci-fi role because he freaking kills it in Dune in, in his yeah, does... limited screen time. He even does okay in X Men Apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And Ex Machina. Yeah. Where he's uh, the, like, scientist robot guy yeah. movie. Yeah. Portions. Portions. I forgot about portions. <laughs> we joked about portions often. I forgot. This, this was a running joke for us. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, that's like 10 years worth of food or whatever. <laughs> we were joking. <laughs> Yeah, see, like, she robbed it from Tito, and then she goes to just sell the droid. No, well, she doesn't get to sell it, but he puts the offer up, and she's tempted by it. I know, but that's so what I'm saying! Shouldn't Tito have, like, <laughs> why is she upset that Tito tried to take him? Yeah, of course he would have done it. <laughs> like, it seems normal for their society that, you know, Tito is well within his rights. Yeah. And then, also, all those people waiting. everyone <laughs> else in line. They all starved to death that <laughs> night in the harsh Jakku nights. <laughs> That guy that was like out scratching because he's days away from death. <laughs> like, he just closed up shop. <laughs> all those weird guy. freaking puppet people. <laughs> These freaking muppets are all gonna starve and die. Please, Mister Uncar, pl I, I, my family are sick. He asks, are you with Resistance? What? No. Like, no, I'm a defector. Get me the fuck out of here. 
That's such a weird question of like. Yeah, of course he knows the resistance. Who the fuck are they fighting? <laughs> but like. <clears throat> Shouldn't people question, like, why is the prisoner here? <laughs> yeah, like, all these officers and stuff should just be like, what the fuck are you doing? Where's your paperwork? <laughs> FN 287, what are you doing? How many, uh, how many portions would you get if you sold Finn? <laughs> oh, wait, no, if you sold Poe, that's what I meant. <laughs> like, if Finn was trying to go get some portions. Some portions, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably like 300. Well, BB-8 got 60. <laughs> <laughs> so for the best uh, star pilot in the galaxy, or whatever the fuck they call him. Well, I'd imagine he's worth less than a robot. <laughs> yeah, but he's like a... A person of interest or whatever. I don't know. There's probably a bounty for him. I don't know what the, the conversion from credits to portions is, Will. <coughs> I feel like portions would be worth more than one credit. Probably. But I, I don't know. I don't know why there's like a... This like, feudal bargaining system going on on this planet in the middle of the yeah, of food. the Republic. Well, Jakku doesn't feel like it's in the Republic. Well. Although nothing feels like it's in the Republic in this frickin' series. Yeah. The Republic is just a non-existent entity. Like, things are worse under the New Republic than they are under the Old Republic. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and they had slaves back then. Well, they like, still do. As honestly, you'd be better off under the frickin' Empire than the New Republic. Eh, uh, maybe, but... More stability. More stability, yeah, maybe. But... Less crime, probably. No, more. Still, still the same amount of crime. <laughs> no, I'd imagine there's more crime under the New Republic, because mm. it doesn't seem like they're very on top of it from what we've seen in like the Mandalorian, even. Yeah, well, and the First Order managed to like set itself up in some splinter state. Yeah, like. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. But I know there's like a lot of smuggling and shit going on during the. the and time there's of only the a resistance against the like. Yeah, the actual New Republic army just doesn't fucking exist, I guess. Yeah, uh, like I don't know. And they clearly weird. exist in The Mandalorian. Mm -hmm. they but just I guess by this point, they care. just stopped having a, uh, an actual army. Yeah, I don't know. This is... See, this is why there's so many freaking issues, man. Yeah, the more you think about this, the, the less it makes sense. And especially the more you build on their world, the more mistakes that they clearly make. Yeah. It's like, also, how the fuck does Thrawn tie into any of this? Or, like, yeah, any of that? That they the decided galaxy. to make it with Ahsoka? Like... Ugh, don't, let's not even get into that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you got all of the then plot holes of the Mandalorian. This is hurting my brain. Let's just talk about the background details. So the fact that fucking Hux ends up being a freaking spy? Oh, don't, don't, don't remind me, Will. See, don't remind that me. changes the whole context of all of this, because is he a spy here? When did he become a spy? When did he become a spy? The, the, where's, where's the supreme leader? He's a fucking puppet from Palpatine's ghost. Yeah, oh, like, no. like, in the context of all these things, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't That's work. Cool. Yeah, it is um, a neat shot. But, yeah. <sighs> yeah, nice shot. <laughs> Uh, you think you're a funny guy? I definitely got pretty fucking clever. <laughs> you don't see color. Don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> we die now! <laughs> we die now. <laughs> Actually, this was the original point in which uh, Poe would die. Oh, honestly, they should have died. They freaking crashed from outside of orbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, how did they survive that impact? No idea. And the explanation is, oh, I just got blown over there, and I made my way back, I guess. Yeah, like, how did he not die? I'll explain later. It's a, it's a good story for another time. That will never be explored. Oh, I guess he had a parachute there. Yeah. I remember that shot from the trailer. Oh yeah, the trailer. Zero payoff for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> and the dramatic like boom boom. <laughs> They're harvesting spice. <laughs> Plot twist, this is dude. You gotta watch out for the sandworms, man. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I left my jacket. Like, I specifically took it off. <laughs> it was too hot. I was sweating. The worms got to a man. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I can see where the budget went. One underground explosion. Check. Check. <laughs> Finn really didn't think too much about deserting. He's just instantly like, oh, there's a prisoner here. Let me just quit. Yeah. Like, I get why you'd probably want to leave the Resistance or the First Order or whatever, mm. but, like, he's been indoctrinated since childhood. Yeah. I feel like his brainwashing should be a little stronger than that. No, but he's just a space janitor, Will. That's why he gave up so easily. Yeah, I guess. <sighs> I forgot that he's just the space janitor. Yeah, you, you can't you can't but think, he, you can't watch one scene and think about a new, another scene. At the but same he's time. not even the space janitor either because he was on the elite strike force with Kylo Ren. Yeah, the drop the drop that was his first deployment though, Will. <laughs> <laughs> after after cleaning the floors of the the secret military installation that would blow up stars. <laughs> uh, like I don't know why was he there then if you were just the janitor? This doesn't make sense. He got a promotion. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Must I leave spaceport? <laughs> I mean, how hard could it be to find Luke Skywalker? Like, really? I would imagine that Supreme Leader Snoke <laughs> did consider using a clone army since it's fucking Palpatine! <laughs> <laughs> ah! With more units on the way. I suggest you get it. Just a bunch of clones of Finn. <laughs> Even that would be more interesting because there are clones that defected from the Republic. Mm -hmm. You see that explored in the Clone Wars, which yeah. also some of the best episodes. They have like a family and kids. Yeah, they I have lives. They're individuals. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Probably not well. <laughs> I hate these stupid giant monster things. That's my biggest gripe about the, these sequel movies is the, like putting these freakish monsters in it. Um, the original trilogy had like maybe one each movie, if that. Like you get. I have a Lego figure of that guy. Damn, she kicked him hard if he went flying like yeah. that. Oh, <laughs> he just backhanded her. <laughs> Did you see that? He went boom. Yeah. BB-8 also not got the best survival instincts. Yeah, R2, R2 would have like started shooting out little uh, <laughs> little zaps. No, R2 would have dropped oil, lit them all on fire, and then blown away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It would have his little buzz saw cut through the <laughs> yeah. cut through the, the bag. It would have, it would have escaped. He cut the tendons of the first guy's legs. Sliced <laughs> <laughs> his neck. The other guy tries to flee. R2 chases him down. Yeah. And then roasts him with his little jets. Would he use his little arm to grab a gun and shoot him? Why would Ray care about this guy? Like, I don't know. Uh, I guess he's running at her, I guess, but... It looks like a pretty common jacket. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. There's, there can't be another one of these jackets out there. At no, all. it's one of a kind. Well, it's a special droid, one of a kind. <laughs> what? Why would she know? <laughs> BB-8, you're the expert in this. Yeah. Why are you looking at her? <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know. <laughs> Leaves. <laughs> Leaves, yeah. <sighs> and honestly, one of the things that upsets me the most is that they made it the resistance. Yeah. It's just... Well, it's just a change to make it so there's a status quo that they had in the original trilogy. But it doesn't make any sense, and it's not justified. But, like, imagine the if films. they gave us the political nuance that the first had mixed with the epic battles mm -hmm. of the original trilogy. Yeah. Where you get the political nonsense of them being like, oh, the Senate doesn't want to go to war again, but it's like, you have to! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, like you get Leia in the Senate giving epic speeches as the Chancellor. Yeah, yeah, bring back Mon Mothma. She's like... Yeah! 
Fucking give us something. I mean, the actress who played Mon Mothma in the original trilogy is still alive, and she's still acting. Like, you could just bring her back and do something with her. Didn't do that. Where the fuck's Lando been? These last two films. I don't know, he was on that one planet, and apparently... Yeah. Oh yeah, he was abandoned by Luke Skywalker <laughs> on that planet to search for his long-lost daughter or whatever. Fuck. Or the clone of Palpatine or whatever the fuck we were talking about. In that film. Yeah. I don't even want to think about that movie yet. We gotta, we gotta get to there at some point. Palpatine's son? Palpatine's, yeah. Clearly not his clone because he looks absolutely nothing like him, but the book says it's a clone. We gotta, we gotta go by the book. Hit him with a stick. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> that one pilot almost finished the whole job. And yeah, you can BB-8. Yeah. What is BB-8 even carrying? Is it even relevant in the end? Uh, it's the little piece of the map for Luke Skywalker. So no. <laughs> yeah. Luke doesn't fucking do anything, so I guess you know, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I guess Ray goes and finds him. He doesn't ever leave that planet either. Yeah, he does some force projection and then fucking dies. He, bu he buys them about five minutes of time for, like, 18 members of the Resistance to escape. And the rest to die. <laughs> and then he gives some advice when he's a ghost and gives uh, Rey a lightsaber, I guess? Yeah, I don't know, man. Not even gives her a lightsaber, stops her from throwing it in the fire? No, he shows her Leia's lightsaber or whatever. Because that exists. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, the Falcon, yay. Also, just is there for reasons. Yeah, I guess. Because the plot demands it. Also, why not just take the other jumper that was in the background? Yeah, it's another quad jumper. Fucking idiots. I do like that they remade the set, and it's pretty pretty accurate. Yeah, it looks great, but it's just one of those things of, like, it's Although... there because the plot demands it. <laughs> Although the set of the, of the Falcon was notoriously very dangerous. And resulted in a lawsuit and uh, a broken ankle and a broken vertebrae. Oh. I'll get into that. Like, in this movie? Yeah. Oh. During the filming of this, um, I think maybe two or three weeks or something like that after primary, uh, or after, um, after they started filming, uh, Harrison Ford got his leg caught in a door that was like a hydraulic door, broke his ankle, like, bent it 90 degrees, oh. uh, and J.J. Abrams tried to help him by, like, trying to pull open the door and broke a vertebrae, like, cracked a vertebrae. Jesus. And there was a big lawsuit. It settled for like nearly two million dollars. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I just it's one of those things of like why are you putting the Falcon here too? Like it's just yeah. <laughs> because reasons. Yeah, it's just convenience of plot. <sighs> and there's also no real explanation for it. Like there is kind of and but like Han and Chewie just instantly show up again. Yeah. Like, were they on their way because they knew it was here? Like, are they coming to get it? That would have made more sense. But then they also get instantly caught by the other two factions of bounty hunter groups, so... I, it would have been funny if they were just on the ship, like, taking a shit or something. And they like, <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on? And they're, like, in mid flight. <laughs> yeah, that would make even more sense if they were there on purpose doing something, yeah. and they just fucking stole the ship. <laughs> yeah. Like, hijacked. We're taking the ship. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, that would have made sense. And then Ray's like, I don't know how to actually fly. And they have them, like, tied up. And then fucking Han is like, I can fly. <laughs> I can fly this ship and untie me. That would have made even slightly more sense. Those are first order TIE fighters. You're going to need a good pilot to get through this. All right, sure. And she helps out. She's like... It's also apparently that, like, Ray has never flown before, but she can somehow maneuver all of these versus pilots that have essentially been trained since birth. Yeah, since childhood. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't get it. Plot armor. Plot armor, yeah. Lazy writing. Dare I say Mary Sue? Oh. <laughs> I don't even care about that part of it. It's just it's like... It's like the can of worms and just, just open it and leave it there. <laughs> but it's just like, why do you have a character that has no reason to be able to do this just magically become god-tier pilot? Uh, just the Force? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a dead guy in there. <laughs> you know, you know. How, how much is the dead guy for portions? <laughs> how many portions can I get for him? How many portions can I make out of him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's more accurate. God damn. <laughs> the portions are dead people! <laughs> I mean, look at Simon Pegg. Of course he's feeding dead people. <laughs> he looks like a dead person. 
use the other gun that's on top. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, there's <laughs> there's a second one. It doesn't really yeah. matter. Oh. It is cool to see the scale of these ships, though. Oh, yeah. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, you're fucking in the ship. Why are you asking? Yeah, why are you asking that, like, ten minutes into this dogfight? Are we really doing this? Yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're like what 20 minutes into this movie and already you're like 35 this is stupid but yeah yeah see this I'll chalk up to the force <laughs> no it's cause she's a daughter of Palpatine or whatever <laughs> she's got that Palpatine plot armor yes she is I can survive through nine movies <laughs> <laughs> yeah They don't even jump to hyperspace either. Like, they're literally leaving Jakku. Yeah. Where's the First Order destroyer that was over Jakku? Good question. Launch more TIE fighters? Mm-hmm. Perhaps? Mm -hmm. Yep. Follow them? You see a ship leave? Yeah. Kill that, like, take the ship? As we know, there's only specific hyperspeed lanes. <laughs> or not hyperspace lanes. So, like, you don't have to blockade the whole planet, just one section. I don't know, but they can do a Holdo maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one in a million thing. <laughs> it's a one in a million. We, can't, we can't do that ever again. <laughs> the fans didn't like it. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, like if Han and Chewie were just in there, it would be way funnier. <laughs> yeah, they're just <laughs> down below. <laughs> Lighten up a... Oh, Let's find it! It's right there! Right there. Right there. <laughs> oh my god. Like they left the area that they were in. They were hovering over the area they were in. WHY DID THEY GET AWAY?! <laughs> the Force? <laughs> really, my two more flare. It was on Solo ship. I mean, I'm a fucking brain aneurysm <laughs> for this movie. <laughs> it's just in hindsight, it's just like, none of this makes sense. Mm -hmm. I, it's not entirely the fault of this movie, but like... Some of it is. Like, I I'll lay a good chunk of the blame on this film move for how it went later on. No, but you, like, you're telling me I'm, like, not wrong. Like, you see them fly away mm -hmm. yeah. from the area that they were just in. Yeah. They didn't go that far because, mm -hmm. like, Ray was, had been there. Mm -hmm. So they clearly went within walking distance for Ray. Yeah. And the Star Destroyer has been in that area because mm -hmm. BB 8 was also over to, able to get to Ray overnight. Yeah. It's not that far. Yeah, so, like, shouldn't they have just come up and then the fucking Star Destroyer was right there? Yeah, and, like, how many people are actually leaving this planet? Not very many. We don't see no. any ships around here, except for the, the First Order and these guys. <laughs> what the fuck? Shock! <laughs> <laughs> This droid has emotions, Will. Better than any protocol droid, it can mimic human behavior. <laughs> yeah. And it's two fucking balls rolling around. Well, ball and a half, I guess. Oh, yeah, of course. Who, who would have... <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Flame on! Also, if he's the janitor, shouldn't he have some understanding of repairing shit? No, he just uses a fucking mop and broom. Yeah, but you would assume the janitor role within this universe would probably do some level of repair. Uh, no, he does the work a droid could do, Will. Oh. The, <laughs> so he's essentially a glorified Roomba that apparently went on some random fucking super important mission. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like if they sent a Roomba to go kill Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alright, yeah. I guess you could do it. It's, it's not going to go well. <laughs> oh. That was a good Chewbacca impression. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he put his hand on her head? Like, yeah, there's an armrest that's taller than her head you could use. Oh. Where's the First Order? You know they're there. You didn't leave the fucking system. You're in orbit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Should the First Order be like, hmm... <laughs> This large ship just took this other ship. Oh, the YT model freighter we know was coming, and oh, uh, Han Solo's ship. It's, it's registered to him in his license. 
Yeah, fuck! You're like, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's in his name, it's in his insurance, uh, the banking clan know about it. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Oh yeah, the First Order and their giant freighter trucks. Like, what the fuck? Yay, fan service. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's him and, and, and Buddy. Kill me now. <laughs> why did you ever leave? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> Chewie's like, mm, this place looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you let this place go. Plot twist, hot as sexist. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> a woman? <laughs> Flying a ship? <laughs> no wonder Leia divorced him. <laughs> no wonder Kylo turned out the way he did. Oh, fuck. He stole it from the army boys who stole it from me. Who stole it from me? Well, you tell him that Han Solo just stole back the Millennium Falcon. Shouldn't she have known that? <laughs> yeah, Hero of the Republic. Uh, like, she knows the fucking lineage of this ship. How do you not know? Oh, yeah, we actually... like. No oh, one... yeah, uh, famed smuggler uh, Han Solo. Yeah, you did the Kessel Run. How do you not recognize it? You know all these details about his life. You don't know what he looks like? In a galaxy that has, uh, you know... Propaganda? And shit? Presumably. Yeah. yeah. But, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, this person stole it from this person who stole it from this person. And then he's like, yeah, they stole it from me. None of them mentioned who they fucking had it from? Yeah, yeah, the... The ship that blew up the fucking Death Star yeah. twice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, shut up. <sighs> Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Help me. <laughs> Frickin' Harrison Ford's corpse. You're our only hope. <laughs> Help me, 75-year-old Harrison Ford. You're our only hope. I'm not a hero anymore. Leave me alone. He was a great guy until he tried to kill my son and then ran away. Oh, not the Raftars. <laughs> not the Raftars. I fucking hate the Raftars. Oh, the weird tentacle monster guys? Oh, yeah, the, the, the ball sacks with uh, hair on them? Yeah, I, no, I'm, I'm not a big fan. Why are you oh, letting them land? The Zaguavi and Death King can find them, but not the First Order. Okay, I see. Yeah, like, <laughs> also, why are you just watching them land? Yeah, uh, Do something to stop drive <laughs> now. <laughs> Punch it, Chewie! <laughs> Like, uh, anything. Also, anything. how is it just Han and Chewie manning this entire ship? Oh, they used to have a crew, but the Raftars ate them all. They explained that well. It's in the Wait, dialogue. All of them? All of them. The entire crew. <laughs> They're the only ones that survived. The 75-year-old man, the 125-year-old uh, Wookiee. They're the only people that survived this, this whole ordeal. But none of the Raftars are loose! Oh, yeah, they are. They're, they're floating around in the, in the cubes. <laughs> Where is the cube? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck JJ and his mystery box. <laughs> Uh, not everything should be a fucking mystery about Han Solo's decrepit corpse. Let this happen! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! And why is he standing with the droid that they're looking for? Oh, fuck. I forgot about this guy. I hate these guys. It looks like, uh... What's his face from the first Harry Potter movie? The, it's like, Harry, you gotta join the Quidditch team, man. Oh, that guy. Like, what's his name? Uh... uh Wood. Someone Wood. I, yeah, I don't know his name or the, the actor's name. I don't think it's him, though. Looks like him, though. Uh, could be him, actually. Uh, I, I don't even care enough to look it up on IMDb. Oh, the Kanja Club's here, by the way. Uh, they managed to find the ship. Yeah, but the First Order, again, could not. Mm-hmm. These freaking uh, also the guy on the, the left. Throwing. I'm pretty sure it's from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Probably. Good to see you. 
Han Solo speaks so many languages. Yeah. He speaks droid. He speaks Shrewook. He speaks English. He speaks whatever the fuck that guy just said. Mm -hmm. He speaks Hatties. Yeah, he speaks Hatties. That's five languages right there. Yeah. Han Solo doesn't strike me as the kind of guy that can do that. <laughs> nah, he's street smart, Will. He knows the languages. <laughs> he doesn't even speak them. He just, he, he understands them. He comprehends oh, yeah. them. <laughs> he doesn't even, even, like, actually speak them. He's, like, he's just like, oh, look. Kumbo, chu, kaba, kaba, jawa. Well, have you ever seen the SNL sketch where they had uh, Charles Barkley on? And they did a Star Wars thing where, like, Charles Barkley is like, wait, you guys understand what they're saying? And oh, they yeah. Look at them and they're like, yeah. So they're like... But then a different character will say a different thing in another language, and yeah. Charles Barkley is like, you understand them too? Mm. How do you guys all speak this many languages? Now I just feel dumb. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what about the dog guy? And it's a Wookiee guy, and he's like, no, he's speaking Shri Wook. And he's like, oh, <laughs> I've said a lot of things around this guy that were very personable. <laughs> I didn't know he understood me. Uh-oh, the raft Oh. No, yeah, no do, you? Uh, do you? Do you? Do you? In the middle of this, this Mexican standoff where you're right in the middle of these two guys, and you got the freaking... Uh, I, if I really anything, you should up. have a good feeling about this because you have fucking magical plot armor that nothing ever kills you. Yeah, except the freaking doors <laughs> and airplanes. <laughs> yeah. Also, the wrath tower is like, it's not a very efficient way of moving around, which is rolling when all of your eyes are on the top of your goddamn head. Yeah, and they don't have eyelids either. See, I'm starting to think that Han Solo fed his crew to the wrath tires <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> We forgot to buy food for the raft tires. <laughs> Joey, start, start ripping people's arms off. <laughs> like, this seems like an intentional decision to me. Yeah. Also, is there now just this ship floating around Jakku that's infested with raft tires? Yeah, this is like a real alien sort of situation. So you could make a horror movie out of this, like fucking the new alien Romulus. <laughs> yeah. But it's raft tires. <laughs> <laughs> like the ship that used to belong to Han Solo. It's got a payload of a thousand credits and wrath tires. <laughs> Fully fitted, gotten eaten here. You know, I, I would have applauded them for doing that. That'd be hilarious. Yeah, kill off the, the, the main character, feed him to a wrath tire. <laughs> and then Poe's like, what happened to my jacket? <laughs> Where's my jacket? <laughs> got eaten by a wrath tire. <laughs> that fucking idiot. Oh, so happens to be a security panel here that shows every single camera. On an individual monitor. Yeah, CRTs instead of a hologram. Yeah, fuck. Like every other security camera used to be. Not even a hologram. Just show one screen with all the screens. Mm -hmm. Just been like, yeah, that was me. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'll take the credit. How humble. Open your own door! Why do you have to hack your own door? It's your ship! Maybe maybe he took over the ship. <laughs> maybe Han Solo's the real villain. I'm starting to think that. Also, I forgot they injured Chewie for like this entire movie. Mm -hmm. It's your ship! Open the fucking door! <laughs> Open the blast doors! Open the blast doors! Also, presumably the ship cost him a lot of money and is like important. Yeah. Like, and he just abandons it. Yeah, the whole payload of raft tires that he was supposed to drop off to King, whatever the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> like, it just never comes up again. Yeah, no, he's... Like, I guess he dies, but, like, well, shouldn't Chewie now be in, like, all this <laughs> All this dead? Yeah, they should be bounty hunters <laughs> looking after Chewie. Oh, my God! We fought them on Nord Mantel. They're coming after us again. And, like, Han helped establish the New Republic. But he's presumably wanted by the New Republic. Presumably. No wonder fucking Leia divorced his ass. <laughs> he's just committing crime. <laughs> Like, it was clearly a fucking... Oh, why oh, was remember, that there? Yeah, you remember that, Will. That's been on that ship for 40 fucking years. Nobody oh. moved it. It's like my granddad's wallet. <laughs> 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 that's, that's a long story. I'm not even going to explain that. But this is... Steve's family hoards <laughs> thing somewhere that Steve found and it's covered in dust because it hadn't moved in 40 years. It wasn't covered in dust. It was dusted. Someone cleaned it. Oh, someone cleaned it without touching it. It stayed in the same spot, though, for five years. It didn't move. Why does that guy have direct comms to the First Order? I the First Order didn't intervene! I, I, I don't know. Also, the scale of this weapon makes no sense. Ugh. Remember all the fan theories about Snoke? Yeah, man. It was peak Star Wars fan theory time yeah. was all because of Snoke. Honestly, I think that's what blew up most of the Star Wars like YouTube channels that are all big now. 
yeah. is this movie and everyone theorizing like what the story was going to be and then no one was right until they kind of were in the end. Yeah, until the plot leaked and everyone managed to guess that Han Solo would die because Harrison Ford hates these movies. I remember though like, oh it's a Darth Jar Jar, it's going to be uh, all sorts of things. I remember trying to piece together after this movie came out, like how the fuck Snoke ties into the the, the old Republic and he all does that it. stuff. It doesn't. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. All that stuff got uh, swept under the rug. Oh, fuck. When they sliced him in half. How did they not go? You know what? We're gonna write a three movie story. Like, have the giant planet-sized super weapon be the end goal. Yeah. Like, have that being being built by the First Order. At least have that make some level of sense. Not, oh yeah, they just managed to build this. In secret, yeah. No one thought, hmm, this is bad. Mm -hmm. Clearly people know about it, too. Like, it's not a secret. Yeah. They all seem to know where it is. And shouldn't the New Republic mm -hmm. have been like, oh, you know what, this is actually a threat. Not, let's have some tiny resistance deal with this. Yeah, let's let's get the militia to do it. Right. Not even the militia, like a fucking, like, just armed rebellion of sorts that is protecting you? Like, what would that be called? I don't know. Like, it's your own citizens taking up arms because your military's not doing anything to protect their own country. I think that'd be a militia. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I think that, yeah. But, like, shouldn't they have some level of military? Fuck, introduce clones or something. Clone Han Solo. Have a million Han Solos <laughs> running around. Yeah, there you go. De-aged Harrison Ford monsters running around in the pre-Tarkin face days. And apparently not, because you can just jump in and out of hyperspace. No problem. Yeah, no problemo. How do you know how to do that? There's no reason for you to understand this. You've never yeah, flown I, a ship, you've never I, worked on a ship, all you do is scavenge I get, parts. I get her, like, being able to rip apart a ship and knowing how to do that. I don't, you know... I No, I get her being able to take shit and know, like, oh, this is valuable, let me cut this out. Yeah. But her being able to rebuild something doesn't seem like yeah. something Unkar Pluck would teach her. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem like there's much call for that on Jakku. Like, that would be something you don't want her to know. Mm -hmm. Ugh, it's just nostalgic callback after nostalgic callback for no reason. Like, mm -hmm. why did he turn that on? Because he's inept. Because he's a dipshit. So I feel like, why are there so many panels missing from the, like, Bloody and Falcon? Like, why is it all exposed wiring? Because <laughs> Ray's been in there ripping shit out and <laughs> yeah. selling a dunk arm plot. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like even if you just had a piece, you'd be able to figure it out, because, you know... I guess not. You could fucking look at what planets are on there and reference the galactic wide maps that exist. Yeah, but no, no, there's a giant chunk of the map that's unexplored territory or whatever. Boo, it's not, though. People fucking know where shit is. Yeah, thousands of years of space travel that they can't figure out where these fucking planets are. Yeah, he left, because he felt sad for, you know, his own incompetence. Because mm. his... No, he felt sad because he betrayed his own character arc of there's good in my evil father who murdered children. Yeah. But oh no, my nephew had bad dreams. <laughs> it's being influenced by the, the ghost of Palpatine, so I gotta kill him. Yeah, like... Ugh. It's all real. I didn't believe in the Force <sighs> until I met Obi-Wan Kenobi in Star Wars Episode Four, The Phantom... Or the... Fuck, I don't care. Oh, this would have been a good bit if I didn't screw it up. <laughs> All of it. Oh, my microwave. Hey, which old friend is this? One we've never met before? Yep. Yay. Yeah. I do like this scene where, where she sees green for the first time. <laughs> as, as stupid as the sentence as that was, this is an impactful scene. I, I really like it. Yeah, no, I don't have anything wrong with that because it's interesting character building of like, oh yeah, she's not fucking left the desert planet. Mm -hmm. You would think Luke would have had some of these same revelations, but Luke was more of a, you know, unfeeling <laughs> monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luke has no emotions, as we've learned. <laughs> 
Also, why do they park so far away? Presumably, this cantina has a spaceport. Although, I guess this is clearly where you're supposed to land, because there's a ship in the background. Yeah, the ship with pipes and shit. This is about where the movie falls apart for me. That's all the stuff at Mascanada's cantina or whatever. Why would he say that? Like, you just clock that shit immediately. You're a liar, and I know it. I'm not gonna say anything, because you know, you're a main character. Yeah, her being like, I think I can handle myself. Yeah, he's not saying you can't. He's giving you a gun so you can. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fight some pirates and shit. Uh, you might want a gun instead of a stick, Donatello. Also, she keeps the stick through the entire fucking series. Yeah, why? Like, there's no reason to get a new stick. Improve. Just get a double-sided lightsaber. Clearly that's what you want, but you couldn't commit, because lazy writing, I guess. Yeah. No, but she had one when she became evil in that Force Vision wheel. Yeah. Like and it folded like, uh, freaking Pong Krell. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest villain in Star Wars. <laughs> the greatest. He honestly is the, like, most menacing villain. That was a fucked up arc as a child, man. Yeah. Like, that was, like, the real horrors of war. <laughs> <laughs> what if our leaders don't have the best intentions for us? And what if we have to kill our own men? <laughs> like, that dealt with some heavy shit, man. Mm -hmm. I remember being traumatized from that episode. Yeah. It's also kind of Anakin's fault. He leaves them there. <laughs> yeah, whose fault is it? I feel like Anakin should have been more upset about the whole punk Krell situation. Yeah. Like, he kind of glosses over that compared to how his character normally reacts yeah. to shit like that. <laughs> that doesn't look like a <clears throat> robot. Also, some of these banners are from uh, episode one when they're doing the pod racing. It's also a... It's like a good Mandalorian uh, Yeah, it's thing. just... It's just for the fans. <laughs> for the nerds that look at the trailer and analyze every single detail. It is a lot of what this movie is. It's just fan service. Mm -hmm. It's also just the same movie again. And I mean, I don't mind, like, you know, bringing back established characters when there's a point to do it. But, uh... It doesn't have to be a point, as long as they just stay true to who they are as a character or show why they've evolved into something else. Mm -hmm. Other than just... Oh, a freaking Dune Worm! Yeah. And a hairy guy. And a... Maz. Honestly, your character design kind of is like Paddington Bear. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that <laughs> behind us? <laughs> that freaking Beetlejuice monster. Oh my god. Don't tell us that. We don't need to know. Also, don't yell Han Solo. Infamous man, Han Solo. So this alien with zero payoff. No, because she's a, a spy or whatever. I know, but like. Why is she there? I don't know. Well, like, what was she? Ho what is the first order what like the hoping to gain from putting this? What are these bug here? men? Oh my god! What are those robots? Hey, it's what's his name? It's so like, why does the resistance have a spy here? How does that benefit them? Or how do the spies, like, are they, is it a counter-espionage because they knew that there was a spy here? Yeah. I don't understand. Maz just let spies be there, I guess. Yeah, how is Maz not, like, realizing that shit is happening? Like, I don't know, man. Like, she clearly has sympathy towards the resistance. I don't know, man. It's bad writing. It's a bad movie. And this was the good one. <laughs> out, of, out of the three... This is the one people were kind of like, yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, because it's the first one over again. Mm -hmm. I remember leaving the theaters and the excitement that was there. It was like, oh, this this was the best. Because it was the first Star Wars movie I actually got to see in theaters. Because, you know, I was five when the last one had come out. Yeah, um, no, I remember being hyped in theaters yeah. and, like, going back to school to, like, talk to you about it and being like... But then the more we talked about it and thought about it, we were like, that wasn't actually very good. Yeah, the more it just <laughs> fell apart. 
I remember though when I left the theater, my brother was like, oh, "Man, I can't believe Han Solo died." There's a bunch of people. Like, yeah. <laughs> they walked right past the big lineup of people. They're like, "What the fuck, dude?" <laughs> I was like, "No, he didn't. Why would you say something like that? You cruel man." <laughs> Later did they find out? Yeah, they found out. Yeah. <laughs> Your brother's a fucking menace. <laughs> yeah. If you're listening. Whichever one did this. It was William. Oh, well, William. <laughs> He's listening. He you better, better drop a comment if you made it this far. If you actually watched this. You said you did, so... Prove it. <laughs> uh, we need to call him out. Comment. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> if I did. Comment. I fly now. <laughs> I fly now. <laughs> comment on Solo died. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There we go. Yeah. The real payoff. We're gonna get a comment in like six months from him <laughs> when he actually yeah, yeah. gets to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Vascanada that much. Yeah, I don't like her being so orange. I don't like her weird sphincter eyes. <laughs> I don't like anything about her. <laughs> She just trashed her own table. Yeah. Wasted her own goods. She don't care. Yeah, that's what he said. He didn't uh, yeah. magically figure that out from his eyes. Yeah, this is some freaking cold reading ass prophecy right here. You're a fucking janitor. Oh, we're not supposed to know that yet. Oh, I'm sorry. That's such a dumb choice for, like, a joke. Yeah. Because, like, he's clearly not, or he wouldn't have been with Kylo Ren. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a sanitation employee. All right. What, do you sanitize, like, fucking whole populations? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> that was a bad joke. I should have said that. Yeah. Well, you'll have to put the the edit where they made um, General Hux when he's given that speech in German. Oh, jeez. Yeah, <laughs> just overlap with the Hitler speech. Yeah. No, I think they just was the straight up German. Oh, it's the German, <laughs> the German dub. <laughs> that weapon does not look real. That looks like a prop. Yeah. That's that's a lot of things in this movie look like props. Ray is way too distraught about that than she should be, realistically. Mm -hmm. She's known for, like, what, three hours? Oh, he just immediately hooks up with these pirates. Wait, who's that guy in the background? Isn't he, like, a character from something else? Uh, there's a book. Like, the guy with the red helmet. Like, isn't yeah, that, like, a thing? I don't know. I feel like I've seen him in something before. Uh, I don't know. I think he's made for this movie, and they expanded on him in the, in the canon. I think he finds, um, like, some clone that was, like, frozen Wait, he or whatever. just called himself a stormtrooper, so they are stormtroopers. Yeah, they're, they're stormtroopers, yeah. Ugh. Couldn't even think of a new name. I don't... I regret us choosing to do this. We had to commit, Will. We did, but, like... Gotta do all of them. It's just making me more sad for what's to come. Yeah. Because there's a serious dip in the writing. Fucking J.J. Abrams. He wrote drafts for all three. But they just ditched him. <clears throat> there was there was an end goal, eventually. Kind of, but like, if you're gonna do it, just commit to doing the three movies. It's not like he did much else in the time period, I don't think. No. Like, is, like was he working on other projects? Let me, let me check the old really. Google. J.J. Abrams. Brad Bird was lined up to direct this movie. He that would have been better. He I couldn't because he was doing Tomorrowland. Oh. That that cultural no. stepping stone, that iconic film. Okay. Mem remembered by all. So, Star Wars Force Awakens 2015. Yeah. Rise of Skywalker 2019. Did he do anything between 2015 and 2019? Um, uh, Cloverfield? But I think that's just a producer credit. Yeah. Star Trek Beyond, did he direct that? I think it was a producer on that one. Yeah, also... Okay, you know what? Let's IMDB and see what he actually produced. Yeah. <laughs> or not produced, uh, if I get directed. Because I would imagine most of his producer credits are not actually him doing a whole lot of work. No, it's just handing out money and putting his name on it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Producer, writer, upcoming. No, I want to see director. This Force Vision that's coming up, I, I did really like. It was really cool seeing it. He did Jimmy Kimmel's The Terrific Ten. Was the only thing he directed between Force Awakens and Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, that was worth it. So, Misa thinking he could have done all three, huh? Yeah. Because he didn't direct a whole lot between those. Uh, Misa thinking... Misa goofed it. Mm -hmm. What's in the box, Will? It's, it's, it's the titular mystery box. And it has... Something... <sighs> Luke Skywalker's lightsaber? Wow. This part they were originally going to have a, a, like someone doing a, a Luke Skywalker fighting Darth Vader. I think they had done some test uh, footage of that. Doesn't this kind of break the established vision of like force visions though? Uh, I don't know. Oh, hey, it's going to be the Knights of Ren. Remember them? Yeah, they don't do anything ever. You remember how they were built up so much and then they never appeared again until the last minute? Yeah, they really goofed it on all of this. Quiet girl. Come back, Palpatine. Junior. Portions. Por you could have come here and eat some portions, kid. Oh, yeah, foreshadowing the future. And they do have uh, Ian McGregor doing a uh, little line from Obi-Wan. Originally, they had the guy from the Clone Wars doing the Obi-Wan voice. Mm. And then they were like, oh, we can actually get the real one. We're going to replace you. Yeah, Ewan McGregor <laughs> so desperately wants to play Kenobi. They're yeah. just kind of like, no. <laughs> I do like that they were able to take um, Alec Guinness talking in uh, the original Star Wars and get Ray out of that. So you could be like, Ray. That was some good uh, sound editing. I'll give them that. Wouldn't be that hard, though. No, it wasn't. They just took the word afraid, and they cut it out. <laughs> little, little snip here, little snip there. Afraid! <laughs> afraid! Ray! Ray! Ray. Because they did. Because they did. But why do you keep building it up so much? What the fuck are you? It's a dark Jedi. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Pulls out lightsaber. You have chosen death. <laughs> No, 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 no. They really should not have made her the Jedi in hindsight now with yeah. like how they do all of this. Mm -hmm. That's a terrible run. <laughs> she's just going to steal the Millennium Falcon? Is that her plan? Or no, she's running away into the forest on a planet that she's never been to. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, this is here. That's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Also, he produced some things between there, but like, uh, how much did work did he really do? Yeah, not much. Not much. Being a producer isn't a lot of work. It can be, depending on what you're doing. Not not the <laughs> not like I'm speaking from experience, but um, no, it, compared it, to directing, it's, it's no, not as much. And he definitely could have done all three. Yeah, probably would have made more money doing all three. Mm -hmm. Would have made more quality art too. Not to call these obvious products art, but. Also, most unutilized villain, Captain Phasma, in the background there. Oh, yeah, the uh, the paperweight? Yep. <sighs> the uh, the merchandising machine? Yep. Also, I feel bad for her, because she's actually a great actress. Oh, Gwendolyn Christie? Yeah, she's fantastic. And she had to do all the press and shit, and like... Yeah. Oh, my God. Poor girl. <laughs> she's a fantastic character. Oh, it's a little too close, guys. Sigheil! 
<laughs> yes, my inferior. They all probably died. Cause, you they know, all, they fucking incinerated and got uh, horrible skin cancers. They all probably went blind because of the fucking power that that would take. Well, not them. They got they got the helmets on, but these all these officers. <laughs> you just you just killed your whole officer corps. Like they should all just be dead. Like that should ignite the atmosphere. Yeah, or yeah it could destroy a planet, but it doesn't harm them on the planet itself. I don't get it. Sir, can we put the blinds down, please? No. We're, we're, we're not going to do that. Oh, okay. Why are people screaming? They shouldn't have any concept of what that is. Yeah. And they can just see it from across the galaxy. Boof. I know people have ripped this sort of thing to shreds, but... Also, this isn't Coruscant. This is some other planet that they just made the new capital for some reason. Oh, there's the New Republic. <laughs> all, all, their, all their fleet incinerated. Who's that guy in the background there? I'm yeah, not doing drugs. Oh, yeah, the, the freaking uh, Dr. Seuss-looking monster? Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, they should not have seen that that quickly either because the light would have to travel and all the things. Yeah, and just, we don't think about science when we watch Hyperspace well. and all the, yeah, we don't, you know. We don't think about science. Shut your mind off, Will, and consume. I don't want to consume. I'm, I'm full. I'm good. <laughs> How did he fuck, get here? <laughs> fuck off, you little droid. Oh. I want her just to kick him as hard as she can. Just fucking drop kicks him. Force push. Take his little head off of there and chuck it. Rip his antenna out. So how'd they get here so quickly? They were clearly just on their random mystery planet. Uh, fucking watching shit happen. Kylo Ren was there with them, orbiting the fucking planet. And now all of a sudden he's here. Maybe they're just really close. Maybe that. Maybe it turns out they are actually <clears throat> within the same system. They did that shit in like two seconds. Fuck off. I wish they'd even just explained it in, like, fucking... What is any, any line would have been better than that. Oh, I knew Lobot. He's a cool guy. He found it for me. Anything. Literally anything. Well, like, it would have found it fucking plummeted into the gas planet. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I got. I, I hooked up on an Ugnaught once, and he had it in his pocket. I, anything. Anything would have been better. Then I'll explain later. Destroy the, the icon of Maz Kanata. Also, Maskarada built a statue of herself in her own little bar palace thing. It's a little conceited. Yeah. It is a false idol. She just dodged that blaster bolt. <laughs> um, she also no, just but... killed a man for the first time. <laughs> yeah, remember when Finn killed a guy and he was like traumatized? He didn't even kill a guy. He yeah, remember, a guy remember, remember when Finn didn't kill a guy and was traumatized? <laughs> And uh, Ray can just kill people willy nilly. How? No, shot that guy in the face. This movie's a lot of people just telling BB 8 to do something and him just not listening. Stay the thing. Fuck, how? I'm a fucking ball robot, man. <laughs> I don't have limbs. What do you want from me? I don't like that. Nah, well, whatever. Fuck. Kill me. That was a bit iffy, that effect there. Yay! The true Jedi... It really does set it up for him to be more of the Jedi character. Yeah, Rey's like avoiding it. She doesn't want it. She refuses the call to action. And Finn's like, I'll do it. I guess Luke kind of does that though, where he's like, No, I gotta farm some moisture, man. Yeah, I gotta get back home. I can't. I can't go run off with you. My uncle needs me. Also, his uncle fucking died. Why does Finn all of a sudden have no problem killing these stormtroopers when he just literally had a full mental breakdown when his friend died? He, he's calloused, Will. And now he's like, you know what, I'll just kill these guys, whatever. Also, these things can just, like, block lightsabers. 
I guess. Well, there's things that block lightsabers. Yeah, but why energy. would they have them? Why would they like think they would need one? I don't know, man. All the Jedi are dead, and Luke Skywalker's gone. Other weapons? That They're just like, oh, yeah, the, the riot patrol police need the friggin' nuclear arms. <laughs> All right. No, but it'd be like um, vibroblades. Like, those would be yeah, out there that like you would need to be able to block, which I think can also block lightsabers, so it'd be similar-ish context. I guess. Also, this whole setup, just to have the payoff that Han kills him. Yeah. Also dumb. Yeah. Just kill them. Execution style. Like, why are you taking prisoners? Yeah, you didn't earlier. Like, there's no way all these people survive this. All these random bar patrons and spies and things. Oh, yay. Poe Dameron's back. They never upgraded their tech either. Yeah, they're still, still using the X-Wings. 40 years later. A lot of people die in this movie. Yep. <laughs> With, like, no remorse. Only some remorse was shown at the start. Oh, yeah, the very start of the movie. All of that, that character I forgot about that character development. Sort of instantly the character. gone. Yeah. Fuck off. No, they didn't. I think, honestly... <clears throat> the problem with a lot of Star Wars stuff is that, like, the dialogue is just lazy quips. Like, yeah. it's just like, they look around, oh, quick, get our stuff. Let's get out of here, Chewie. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Like, I saw a video, I don't remember who it was by, I sent it to you, I'll, I'll find it so we can reference it, because it was a quality-ass video. I didn't actually watch it. <laughs> he no. sent it to me, I got distracted. Yeah, no, that's fine. But I know I sent it to you, so then I can find it now. Uh, D infant uh, D infantilizing Star Wars. It works, and he talks about you know Endor versus Kenobi, all that shit. By mm. Beghast, B E G H A S T. I'll link it. And uh, yeah, it's just interesting, and I feel like this movie is one of those things where it's just like, yeah, we fucking figure it out, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dialogue is really like get to point A to point B. And just jokes. That's it. It's quite lazy. Which not even like nuance of character and like. Which is weird because it was like rewritten by um, Lawrence Kasdan, who did uh, Empire and did uh, Return of the Jedi. Yeah, well, maybe that's not that surprising because Return of the Jedi's dialogue is pretty iffy. Yeah, Return of the Jedi dialogue is. Rough. And also it was thirty years before this movie. <laughs> And Empire was just a fluke that that worked. Because that went through, like, five or six, like, writers. After one of them died. <laughs> in, like, mid-draft. I did not know that. Yeah, there was this lady that was writing it. I forget her name. And she, like, died in the middle of writing it. And they're like, alright, well, let's, let's go from here. And there was a whole thing with, like, Han Solo's dad and stuff. It was strange. I wish she finished a draft. It was, like, in a second draft or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I guess you could just knock people unconscious with the force. I mean, that makes sense if you're, like, mentally tricking someone. You could probably overpower <laughs> sleep, their mind. Sleep, sleep, Or you just use the force to, like, twist their brain stem or whatever. Oh. And <laughs> just stop the blood flow to your head. Some bloodbender shit. I mean, that's essentially what force choking is. Yeah. So maybe just, like, force choked her to the unconsciousness? Maybe. I know he didn't, but... Yeah. Oh, I don't know. See? Pain yelling. Pain yelling, yeah, they're good at that. And then Ray got shot down! <laughs> but wait! There is a second ship! <laughs> oh, oh my yeah, god! Man. Don't remind me of these things, though. <laughs> the Chewy Fiaco death, that was... <sighs> See, like, why are they letting them get away, though? You were all on ships! Oh, and here, here's the, the supreme leader of the Resistance coming in. But Five you had ships just fucking intercept them! Yeah. 
Stop! Don't don't be like, oh, they're leaving. I guess we'll stop now. Oh yeah, the, the rules of engagement. We can't we can't we can't help. We can't shoot them if they're retreating. That's fucking stupid. Ah. Hey, gra- glad we got these reinforcements. Oh, it's the princess. Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Yay. The only one given any sort of screen time that is instantly ruined for the joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks, C-3PO. Fuck off. Yeah, the whole red arm uh, bit, too. Oh, that was paid off in a comic you had to buy. It's not even worth doing. It's just a joke dialogue that, like, doesn't matter. Yeah, wait a... Uh, and why'd they one. bring C-3PO? Yeah, see through because oh, he goes to all the battles, Will. I know, but like, why are you bringing him? Why are you even bringing her? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. Han Solo was there, I guess. I think the tree just walks up to her. <laughs> like, he's like, fuck this. I don't... He's like, I'm not involved. He's like, I don't actually have a problem with this. Maybe they got divorced because of Chewie's relationship with Han. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Han, you've been seeing too much of Chewbacca. Like, too much third wheel. Yeah. I don't feel satisfied with this relationship. Well, Lance, he's my best friend, you know? Ah, uh, yes, the old pronoun game. He was here. Yeah. <laughs> we can't talk about this, though, until we go back to this other planet. Yeah, yeah, no, you can't have a conversation on the way. Also, why do these resistance always need like a? <laughs> those guys are like three feet tall. <laughs> I never noticed that. Also, those guys just running off into the background. Have you seen that? <laughs> yeah, they just—they <laughs> don't go anywhere. Yeah, they're like just jogging towards a forest and empty field. <laughs> they're gonna go fuck in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Our shift ends. We gotta, gotta go. We only have a twenty-minute lunch break. So they have such a bro moment here for no reason. Yeah. You knew each other for literally 15 minutes. The ship that launched a thousand fanfics. <laughs> They'd take it off later. I would be like, give me your fucking coat back. We'll give you your own I, goddamn coat. I, I lost that in the desert. I could have used that. I could have eaten that jacket to survive. <laughs> An edible jacket. Takes off his glove. He's got a metal hand. I had to eat my own hand. <laughs> I had to eat my own hand. That's something that's not a terrible idea in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. If you're really down bad, you could eat your own arm. <laughs> you could, yeah. And they'll just give you a new, better robot arm. Yeah. See, they know where it is. Oh, yeah, the one... <laughs> Don't they also have, like, complete schematics of it? I don't know. Oh, this lady, she's Christopher Lee's uh, niece. I think I've seen her in something else, too. Uh, the only thing I've seen her in is The Crown. Um, she plays Winston Churchill's wife. But she's in a lot of stuff. Mostly, like, TV and theater. Well. Who was that? C-3PO, you were like, what? <laughs> you judgy bitch. Remember R2? Yeah, he hasn't moved in fucking centuries. Look at the <laughs> dust on him. <laughs> Fuck you, yes he does. Plug him in. Doesn't just wake him up, make him do it. You take are take his head off and rip his circuits out. You're f- he's a fucking droid. You are his overlord. <laughs> You're my property, bitch. Uh, literally, though, his entire life's mission was to just repair the one fucking ship from Naboo if it was ever damaged. Yeah, and somehow he's fucking survived this long. <laughs> he's gone rogue. <laughs> yeah, like he just. 
Should he be like freaking out of like existential droid crisis? Yeah. <laughs> what is my purpose? <laughs> you repair ships. <laughs> you repair ships. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> 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 Uh, Chewie, let's uh, get out of here. It wasn't actually; it was Luke. Uh, it was it was actually Palpatine. Uh, but <laughs> well, it was Palpatine manipulating him. But then also, you know, Luke actually kind of pushed him over the edge by about to murder him. So mm-hmm. it's kind of his fault. He clearly didn't tell you all the details. Uh, I could Leia convinces Han to go do this and he fucking dies. I feel like it would have been better, not that Carrie Fisher wants to be in these movies either though, if she died first. That would have worked out, um, because she did, because <laughs> she actually died. Um, no, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. character-wise... She's the one that actually believes in him. Mm-hmm. So she goes to the fucking base. She uses her force powers to like battle him and then just like fucking pull an Obi-Wan Kenobi, let him kill her, mm-hmm. and then she comes back as a force ghost and haunts him. Yeah. And then Han has big character realization of like, oh my god. I gotta be there for my family or it's gonna be gone forever or whatever. Yeah, and she was willing to sacrifice herself. And it looks like, oh my god, my sister is dead. I have to go do something. Yeah, like, yeah. so now fucking Han Solo leads the resistance. And Luke gets his fucking ass out in the gear. Mm-hmm. And actually does some shit because as we know from the comics, <laughs> if a Jedi Master gets his shit in gear. <laughs> <laughs> planet-wide genocide. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. It's just a random thing of coals. Just a giant ashtray. I wonder why I talk like this, because I'm a smoker. Also, look at how young he looks, too. Yeah. He looks like a fucking teenager. He does. <laughs> it's just, I guess, technically the point. Yeah. You. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you're the bondage table already. I need consent there, Kylo Ren. Yeah, don't don't go into her mind, please. Adam Driver's got some luscious hair there, though. Is oh, that beautiful. his real hair or is that fake hair? Um, wig or not wig? I, I think not wig. I lean towards wig. I, I think he had that hair back then. He's almost got like Timothy Chalamet hair from yeah. Dune. <laughs> or I guess looking Dune, a bit Timothy like Timothy Chalamet hair ripped off Star Wars hair. Huh? Kylo Ren Muad'Dib. He actually looks like he could play Muad'Dib in this outfit. He, he, he does. He looks like Apollo Trades. Yeah, do like it. he literally. That's the real casting here. Yeah. If they made Dune instead of the, the pre, <laughs> instead of the sequel trilogy, we could have had. To... Okay. Well, then who does Ray play? Um. Well, she can't be Lady Jessica. So, uh, nobody. <laughs> uh, older Aaliyah? <laughs> well, yeah, she could be Aaliyah. I could see it. But, like, Aaliyah later on? Huh? Yeah. I guess Han Solo would play, uh, Stilgar. Yeah. Leia would be the. Lady Jessica? No, she'd be the, uh... Too old, though. No, she'd be like the... the oh, the Reverend Mother. The Reverend Mother, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Han Solo plays the, uh... Harrison Ford plays the Emperor. No. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of Christopher Walken, Han Solo? I could see that working. That, that, that would work A better. younger Harrison Ford? <laughs> that works. Mm-hmm. Like Harrison Ford 20, 30 years ago? Yeah, maybe. Uh, who else? Who is playing Baron Harkonnen well? Who is our, our, our Barry Harkonnen? Simon Pegg. <laughs> Simon Pegg as Uncar Plot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Baron Harkonnen. It could work. Yeah. Where's my portions? <laughs> portions. portions. Spice portions. Spice portions. <laughs> yeah, it works. I can... yeah, yeah, it works. You know, this con- the, this conversation doesn't make so much sense when you know, realize that this is Palpatine, and Palpatine would know that Ray is his fucking granddaughter. 
Well, we don't talk about that yet. That hasn't happened yet. Uh, I'm just saying. Or I guess he technically shouldn't know that yet. Or does he know that? Is Snoke point? a sentient being? Or is he a puppet? Is he... What the fuck is he? Because he looks like a reanimated corpse of something. I don't know, man. It's just Andy Serkis getting more non-screen time. Is Snoke Andy Serkis' character from Andor? Brought back from the dead as no. a corpse. <laughs> it's the drowned version of that guy because he can't swim. Yeah. <laughs> That's where he, he got died. knocked into the water. And then Palpatine harvested the corpse to make Snoke. Kind of looks like Gollum, honestly. Like, yeah, like, I wonder why. <laughs> Bart little version of Gollum. Yeah. Apparently, this is Daniel Craig. That's what I've heard. But I'm like, how? Please. Apparently also um, Prince Harry and Prince uh, William are in this movie as well somewhere. As Stormtroopers, but... I, I've never seen anyone actually be able to figure out where they are. Ma re su. <laughs> Doesn't even understand the force exists. Two hours later, can use the force flawlessly. God, I guess. Uh, plot armor. I think not. At least she's showing that she's a bit uncertain about it. But like, still. His outfit without the hood, too, looks so goofy. Yeah, because his head's so friggin' big. It's basically just the voice from Dune. <laughs> also, for the people that say, Ooh, Dune ripped off Star Wars, fucking uncultured. <laughs> Unsubscribe, I don't like you. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> we need those numbers. <laughs> you can unsubscribe from him. If you think the Dune movies... <laughs> Freaking ripped off Star Wars movies? Maybe aesthetically. But nah, I don't you know. Maybe a little bit. Nah, because technically Star Wars would have just ripped off the Dune aesthetic from the illustrations. Yeah, but there weren't really that many illustrations. Yeah, but it's pretty described. Yeah, yeah, yeah not really. I don't know. Anyways, if you think, you know, Dune ripped off Star Wars, you gotta educate yourself. I That's... feel like that'd be me and you in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're not getting involved. <laughs> Stack off. Uh, smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Skipper. Shut up. There's not, you know, more serious repercussions from just slurping up a sun. Uh, no. Also, the power of the sun slurping up into this planet. There's not more violent repercussions. None from of that, that snow melts. Like you're not again igniting the fucking atmosphere. The power of the sun in the palm of my hand. Yeah, the power of the sun in the asshole of this planet. <laughs> oh, you have a full schematic already? They actually brought back the original puppeteer and voice actor to do Akbar. The eyes look really good. Mm -hmm. And then he died right after. R.I.P. <laughs> he was like 90, so yeah. It's, uh, nine Nub. Huh? Same thing with Nine Nub. The same original puppeteer is in the body, and they got the original voice actor to do the voice. Had to go all the way back to Kenya to find him. <laughs> How do we fast forward this movie? They tried to get Dennis Lawson, the guy who played... Um... See, they have the full internal schematics of this. Like, why are you yeah. worried? <laughs> yeah, they tried to get Dennis Lawson, the guy who played Wedge, to come back, but he was like, I I've got better things to do. And then they convinced him by the end. By the end, to do one shot. <laughs> and to do a voice in one of those um, uh, animated things. They really wore him down. Yeah, after years. And after many, many cast members ditched the project and died. They're like, please, you're our only hope. Please, Wedge, your <laughs> only hope. Ewan, talk to your uncle. Get him to come back. Fine. But I'm just I'm gonna be sitting down the whole time. Dramatic welding compilation, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that was unnecessary. Yeah. Off to war, off to war, we're running around, going to war. Where are those guys running to? We know there's nothing on the other side of the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. When have you ever watched him leave? Oh, when he got divorced, never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to think about the movies. <laughs> like, 
I there's like only one time leave when he bailed on you in Hoth. <laughs> yeah, in Hoth, and, and uh, uh, also on Yavin Four. Yeah, uh, when he got frozen to death. Well, not to death. They came back. A fucking R.I.P. Uh, James Earl Jones, fucking legend. Oh yeah, he died. Yeah. Sad to hear that. Oh, they reused this shot later, didn't they? Uh, I don't think so. Also, why is it out of focus? Like, that should have been in focus. There's something going on there. Because it's a lady, Will, and you have to be a little bit out of focus. To compliment the appearance. It's an old technique of cinema. And then, uh, They don't have security cameras? No, but Han Ship does. Yep. <laughs> so if someone miscalculates a light speed jump, they're just gonna crash into your fucking planet? Great idea. This doesn't seem like it should actually be that hard, in theory. No. Because presumably you can just, like, pre-program the ship. Because we also know that there's an AI within the ship. Oh yeah, from Solo, the Star Wars story. Coming soon on DVD and video. I'd much rather watch Solo than this movie. Yeah, we should have done that instead. Solo at least has, you know, interesting characters and Good moral dilemmas. She was not found in this one specific area of this entire fucking planet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. It was a one in a billion chance. So there could be a guy who come up every single hangar bay. Oh, it wasn't a Sir, she was not in hangar three, one, four, one, five, one, uh, hangar two, hangar twelve, and hangar eighteen are all empty, sir. Dude, he should be getting swarmed by people. And yeah, just like one eight, of them are coming to tell him. Like a hundred fucking soldiers around him. She wasn't here. God, fucking, like, you have to sweep an entire planet. <laughs> Don't come tell me <laughs> that she's not in one specific hangar. Yeah, this could be this could be an email, this could be a memo. <laughs> fucking text me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he or better yet, car. don't tell me until you fucking find her ass. <laughs> oh my god. Like, it's, that's actually the dumbest piece of dialogue in this entire movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, she's not in hangar 1348. <laughs> You don't fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh no, I thought she was there. Oh. oh. Again, Finn is just okay with killing these people now. Well, that was Chewbacca that killed him. I know, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> these were his friends. It would have been way more interesting if Finn was like, don't kill them. Yeah. But they're gonna blow up the planet anyway, so, like, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I know, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like, yeah. he had this whole moral dilemma of, like, oh my god, my friend just died. Touch my face with bloody hand, yeah. and now he just has zero issue killing them. But it's like, dude, you grew up with these people. You know these people. Yeah, these are these are indoctrinated child soldiers. Like you, you, they should feel similar to you. Mm -hmm. Some of them. But you're just fine with killing them. Like it doesn't add up to his character. No. I know they didn't really, you know, develop his character, but I'm starting to think that they wrote all this with him as the comedic character, and then added that like dark opening later. Maybe. Like, that's what this feels like. Because none of it fucking connects. It just doesn't fit or, like, make sense. Like, because you established that whole opening. Yeah. But then he just goes on to kill many of his friends with, like, zero moral dilemma. No consequences either. He doesn't have any sort of emotional reaction to it. Like, to me, that doesn't make sense. To a normal person, that wouldn't make sense, Well. So why does she just decide to go in there? Like, you don't know what's in there. Yeah. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna hide in here. Roasts to death, because it's actually a superheated area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just walks right into the reactor core. Or dies of radiation. Oh, there's some more dead soldiers. Yeah, like, he's... Like, I don't know. That would have been way more interesting, though, that if he was, like, super against killing them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why? They're, they're enemies. We gotta kill them. They're my friends. They're just like me.
Yeah, he knows. And, like, even then, he's fine with throwing her into the fucking trash compactor? Like, I like her out of all of them, I get, because they had, a, like, an established um, conflict. But, yeah. I don't know. And maybe I'm just being nitpicky. But, again, it doesn't, like, for where his character seemed like he was going from the start of the movie. Yeah. It's never brought up again or, you know, like talked about no, he's expanded upon like you just and that sets up what could have been a really interesting character arc a character arc that we don't see in any other Star Wars film and like maybe he does be like okay well I do have to kill these people but like I don't, I'm not gonna feel good about it like you could have mm-hmm. had him feel like some actual existential problems yeah I know it's a kids movie but like at the end of the day it's also not it's also rated PG-13 yeah, like, you can have some moral ambiguity to your characters. There's fucking kids' movies that have done that. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking Puss in Boots has more character complexness than this movie. Yeah. Or, like, what else? Endor, for one. Mm-hmm. Also, I think, rated PG-13. <laughs> Solo, Rogue One. Like, the fucking Empire Strikes Back. You know, your characters can have thoughts and feelings. Yeah. I don't just have to go from point A to point B because the plot demands it. Mm-hmm. But, I th- yeah, I don't know. Also, why is he still wearing his presumably um, Stormtrooper onesie? He didn't get some other clothes? <laughs> no. Like, he has the jacket, but they didn't give him anything else, like a new shirt, new pants. Ah, uh, they can't spare it, Will. The no, Resistance has they, no funding. Well, I guess he has his one established outfit in the Star Wars universe, as we know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone good. in the Star Wars universe gets one pair of what, clothes. One set of clothes. You were assigned it at birth. <laughs> They can evolve if you're super rich. If you are a main character, if the plot demands that you can change your clothes. Or if you're a senator. The senators get lots of outfits. Yeah, if you're, if you're a senator, you can have new clothes. But only female senators, usually. Yeah, male senators, they wear the same clothes. Also, the fact that they bumped into each other on a fucking world-sized spaceship. Yeah. Like, you know, you don't think the detention center is in a different section of the goddamn planet? Yeah, they'd be traveling across, like, miles and miles of territory. Or just even for, like, strategic benefit. Put different stations on different sections of the planet. Different floors. So that if someone tries to do something, they don't only have to attack one location. Yeah. Like, your fucking space weapon is the size of a planet. Even then, the Death Star was the size of a moon. Like... Yeah, and they had a lot of running around on there. Even then, like, arguably too much plot convenience... Yeah. Ew. Ugh. Boy, oh boy. This is so much fun. I love this movie. It has some good visuals, but it's just the plot. Like, visually, the movie's great. It's fine. Even though that does look a little wonky, the lighting seems a little off yeah, there to me. Yeah, it's bad compositing. Well, they look like they're in shadows. When they weren't in shadows, they were in direct light, it looked like, or mm-hmm. kind of overcast, but then there's harsh shadows. So it and the sun's being sense. siphoned in from the sky, so yeah. how, do you, how do you light that? <laughs> I don't know. This lighting looks fine, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like, the, I like the aesthetic of the Resistance, but it's just the, the rebel aesthetic from A New Hope. It's, it's that same kind of thing. There's no, there's no like evolution going on here. It's like very slight cosmetic differences. Yeah, yeah. I don't freaking know, man. This shit don't make sense. Oh, we gotta pour one out for a real one. On Solo's about to die. Good. I knew this was coming, like... Watching this movie, like, the second they split up, I'm like, oh, he's dead. He's, he's toast. He's not coming back. He also comes back as a memory, I guess. <sighs> and that whole well, weird conversation that doesn't make a ton of sense. Don't bring that up, please. Where he, Kylo Ren, just imagines his dad forgiving him. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. Oh, I guess, that, I guess he does. That was definitely him. That was definitely not uh Also, they plant, like, a handful of bombs that, again, destroys the planet-sized weapon. Uh, yeah. It don't make sense, man. It's a thermal detonator. You know would have been way more interesting? 
Uh, anything else? They had them plant, like, a nuke. <laughs> like, something huge. <laughs> yeah. Like, the Star Wars equivalent of, like, a nuke. <laughs> yeah, they gotta, like, carry it, like, three people or whatever. We, we know those exist. Yeah. We've seen them used in the Clone Wars TV show. Or threatened to be used, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like that he gave her his jacket. <laughs> yeah. Because she also, you know, going to a snow planet didn't get given a new pair of clothes. No, no, she was a prisoner. Han Solo wore a... Um, yeah, Han wore a winter coat here. Han's got his big friggin' blue jacket from... But he uh, also just tossed that on the ground the second they got inside. Yeah. Like, Han, you have to he go back outside. Too. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta go back to that same doorway to get it. He's like, guys, I forgot my coat. <laughs> I gotta go back and save my coat. I mean, my son. <coughs> I'd be like, that's on you, man. He's like, we're not helping you, dude. I think your coat is gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, you lost your one coat that you get your entire life. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, I don't own a fucking coat. All I got are these rags. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm literally wearing like one sheet. <laughs> I have a towel. <laughs> Fucking bits of a yanket that Agar Plunk had. <laughs> Shut up, Chewie. You have hair. You don't need clothes. <laughs> Although, as we know from the holiday special, Chewie's technically <laughs> naked. Yeah, because it was. <laughs> <coughs> Wookies wear clothes. Only those ones, though. None of the other ones on, you know, the actual planet of Kashyyyk in Revenge of the Oh, they wear armor, at least. Yeah, but not That's even armor either. that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that lighting. Even though it's all fake and doesn't actually really line up because it's now soft lighting on them even though there's clearly direct lighting. So he should be way more backlit than he is and kind of like them. Whatever. He also should be way more front lit because, you know, that's where the lighting's coming from. He shouldn't have such high contrast lighting on his face. That looked like a... Like a, I don't know, five to one ratio, six to one. It's light. Ah, uh, the old I destroyed him trope of. <laughs> I left you. I was once the learner, but now. I'm also, why did Tyler Ren go out on this bridge? Like, what benefit did that give him? Like, what is he going out here for? He's gonna jump off. <laughs> the supreme leader is wise. <laughs> supreme leader is wise. Meme win. The power within. Power within. The power of the supreme leader compels you. That's <laughs> true. You want to go home and rethink your life. So, as we know, he stabs him here, right? Yes. Imagine if he just, you know, grabbed him, fucking yeeted them both off the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would not get this, get this close to a guy who has a lightsaber. Even if he was my son, I'd stay a bit away. I reference that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good reference. Terrible movie. Line makes kind of no sense, but, you know. He's, like, deliberately tricking Han Solo into, like... Yeah, but people are like, Han oh, knows he did it on purpose. No, Harrison no, Han Ford did it on purpose. Harrison Ford did it on purpose. <laughs> the entity beyond Han Solo did Han it. Han Solo, this doesn't even really fit with the character of Han Solo. Han Solo wouldn't do some shit like this. No, we had a conversation with Leia, and he's like, I gotta save my son now. But he's like, very clearly like, oh, I'm supposed to help you. Like, I'm here to, like, do something good. And Kylo just kills him. Yeah, but like, like Han seems like the type of guy that's gonna have this conversation from, like... 20 feet away. Hans the type of, Yeah. Like, it, he does kill him in, like, cold blood completely by surprise without giving him a chance to defend himself. But, you know, Han also does, you know, shoot people under tables. So, like... Well, he and without even looking. <laughs> yeah. Over my dead body. Oh my god, the old guy I met yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's no way Han Solo would actually forgive Kylo Ren for doing this. No, it does, doesn't fit his He's character. He's like, you lied to me, and then stabbed me through the heart. Yeah. Look, look that's, a, that's a face of disappointment right there. That's not, He's not even in pain. He's just in pain in the heart, you know. So you would imagine if he just, like, put his hand there, <laughs> grabbed the other side of his head, and just fucking yeeted them both off. Yeah. Whee! Harrison Ford finally got his wish to never be in the show again. But wait! 
<laughs> we actually soft. revived his corpse. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fresh from Starkiller Base, the corpse of Han Solo. <laughs> 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 Comes yeah. in on like Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Flops over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Again. Chewie even gave him a warning by yelling and then shooting at him. He yeah. didn't just, you know, force f stop it. Yeah. Also, everyone we've seen get hit by that, their chest literally explodes and they go flying. Yeah. Somehow Kylo Ren just tanks that. Yeah, he's. Also, Chewie's setting those explosions off with, like... <laughs> with all these, Chewie doesn't care. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna die. Not even that. With Rey and Finn, like, standing right above them. They're not important. Turn your lightsaber off. Like, why are you... Oh my god. Wow, I'm glad they, they cut to those three random people we've never seen before or since. Man, Ray would be cold. When did Finn take his jacket back? Yeah, give me your coat back. No, but like, why did he take it back from her? <laughs> no, he's he like, actually... like, no, we're inside, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, she... <laughs> give it back, bitch. You think that's a continuity error of just like, oh yeah, for this one shot, like, have you give him the coat, but then like, for the rest of it, they just kind of forgot? Well, maybe, I don't know. Like, they definitely would know, because like, a script supervisor would catch that. So like, it would have had to have been an active decision. Yeah. How did he get off the bridge? Uh, Out of there. And through, back around. Through the inferno? Going. Yeah, I don't know. Like, how did they know... How did he know where they would be? Like... Wee! Oh. She's dead. That's a broken spine. <laughs> also, don't throw your weapon away at the guy. Like, he... Yeah. Like, what? Well, he's just like, uh, you know what? This is his moment. This is his moment. This should have been the moment where he just, you know, uses the force on him to yeah, take the lightsaber. Blazer. No, it doesn't. Honestly, if I was Kylo Ren, you've already forced, the like, used the force on Rey. Yeah. You're not going to stand here and have this battle. I'm going to be like, okay, break your neck with the force. Yeah. Just... <laughs> like, I'm clearly not above using the force. I know he thinks he's better than him, and he clearly is, because he doesn't even really try fighting him. No, not really. But it's just like, he shouldn't, this shouldn't be an issue. Like, he's shown to just use the force on enemies. Yeah. He does it to Rey lots already. There's no reason why he wouldn't just do it to Finn. But we gotta have a lightsaber duel because the plot demands it. Mm -hmm. Even here, like, I don't think Finn is skilled enough to just hit him. Yeah, there you go. Now you just kill him. <laughs> you go a little deeper than that. This flesh wound. I mean, he practically cut him in half. Should have. That was also a dumb reveal. There's no reason why he should have thought that wasn't going to go to him. Yeah. Like, he should have just caught that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Even here. I get whatever the Force, for reasons, gives it to Rey. But, like... Should have been Luke. <laughs> That'd have been cool. Should have been Chewy. <laughs> Should have been Chewy. <laughs> uh, I'm the first one on uh, You see, Chewbacca was the real um, chosen one. Uh, I just decided not to reveal that until uh, the final movie. Jar Jar Binks appears. <laughs> oh, you sir. Like a cloaked Jar Jar walks in. <laughs> the freaking Force theme starts playing. No, nah, Imperial March, man. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. How did they see that from the fucking outer space? You can't see that, like, sections of the planet in that detail. And maybe that looked like a massive fire. Maybe but then you see it up close one. and it's tiny. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you don't see a house fire from space. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't. I don't even think you'd see, like, a skyscraper fire from space. <clears throat> no, I don't. I don't like, know. you'd need, like, 
kilometers of like Earth to be on fire for like you'd be able to see that from mm -hmm. space. Yeah. Maybe they're just a bit lower in the atmosphere, but I don't know. I don't know, man. They had a pretty good view of like a whole third of the planet. Yeah. It's a big ass planet too. Yeah, let's just speed run the whole uh, Death Star trench run. Why wasn't this plan A? I don't know. Like, ha you have your whole fleet fucking light speed jump through. And then just blow everything blow up. Blow up the leave. shield generator station. With, like, again, just, like, some sort of nuke. Yeah. Or just one of those little bombs or whatever that we had. A photon torpedo. <sighs> Lightsaber duels have just gotten progressively worse. Mm -hmm. Like, this isn't even that bad. It's not very good. It's mostly just her running away. Yeah, well, they're just like. Like, Kylo Ren is clearly winning. The argument of, like, oh, Ray's holding her own, and she's not. No, she's being pushed back. She's constantly giving. Sorry, I'm yawning because this is so boring. Uh, but she's constantly being, like, having to take steps back. Well, she's, she's not even, ground. she's like turning her back to him. She's running. She's not even like trying to fight. And then the earth just gives way. <laughs> even here, clearly you could just push her off. Yeah, you have enough force, so to speak. Oh, the old, I can teach you the ways. <laughs> Join me and together we shall rule the galaxy. Give in to your hatred. Just takes her hands off, punches her right in the nose. <laughs> Knock and falls back into the crack that just opened up. Yeah. Or just like, <sighs> grab her wrist and cut it off. So arguably Ray should, you know, have fallen more to the dark side with all this rage she's using. Mm-hmm. You killed Han Solo. Yeah, like she just like needlessly tortures that guy Loren. And she like cuts him up. Not to be that guy, and Kylo Ren's obviously injured. Mm -hmm. But I am very confident that Adam Driver is much stronger than Daisy Ridley. Yeah. Like, Force or whatever, but, like, they both have the Force, so, mm -hmm. like... I don't know, man. Even injured, I feel like Kylo Ren, physicality, he's definitely overpowering her. Mm -hmm. And that giant scar that shifts two inches to the left and the... Or, I guess, to the right. Next time we see it. Oh my god, the world was like, yeah, enough of this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, stop fighting, stop fighting. The freaking teacher came in and stopped the lightsaber duel. How does Rey even find Finn? Like, how does she know where to get back to where they were? <laughs> I don't know. There's no way she was, like, <laughs> Rip that establishing guy. landmarks. Hux is gone because he's going to talk to the Supreme Leader. He's not even fleeing. Yeah. What? Finn is pretty face down in the snow. I think he looks like dead. <laughs> Finn's a corpse. I was wrong. He did cut deep enough. He's, he's, he's gone. He looked pretty dead there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing we see in the next two movies is an android. A replica. <laughs> I like that Chewie uh, came back to save him. But how did he know they were there? I don't know. I don't understand this it's, whole, it's like, how are people senses. fighting people? Yeah, like, in Empire, it took Leia getting a Force vision to find Luke. And even then, they were like... Had to really convince people to go back and get him. 
Like, I'm not saying Chewie would leave them behind. I'm just like, how does Chewie find them? I don't know if Chewie built up enough of a relationship with them to actually give a shit. Yeah, but Chewie's just a nice guy. Chewie's a blank slate to the audience. That's true. He Chewie's not a character. He really anymore. doesn't do a lot. He also has given nothing to do with the next, like, two movies. Yeah, no. This is the most Chewie does, like, at all. Mm -hmm. And it's react to his friend dying. <laughs> So the planet turned into a sun? Uh, yeah, I guess I will. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with this movie. Well, it's basically over. Yeah. Oh, this is the part where uh, where Leia just walks right past Chewbacca. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't even give him a, a, any sort of response. Nope. To the death of their mutual friend. Chewie's more worried about Finn. <laughs> Not even though you're gonna see him, he's just like walking, just sauntering. <laughs> he's like walking towards C3PO. Honestly, it's on both of them. Neither of them talk to each other. Yeah, they're just like they know it's not a good time. Like, why is this left to like Leia and Ray? They have no relationship. <laughs> have they even met? No, they wouldn't have met at this point. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Because she was captured. Like, yeah, they they haven't met. They don't know and, each other. And Ray and um, Poe don't even meet until like the next movie, the very end of the next movie. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. It's so stupid. Even though Poe is like right there in that crowd. Yeah. Like, how did they not meet before her and Chewbacca leave? Yeah, their build is this trio on par with the original trilogy's trio, and half of them don't even meet till the very end of the second part of the trilogy. It's like, called poor writing. It's, it's, it's called a franchise in crisis. But, like, how do they not have a conversation here where they're both, like, going to check on Finn or something? Yeah. And meet then, like, mm -hmm. fucking show that even. And then have, so they meet at the end of this movie. Yeah, or even in the next movie, like, when they meet up again, don't make it their first time. Make it be like, oh, hey, Poe, how are you doing? R2 finally decided to get his ass in gear and do something, and we're going to go find Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Because R2 has the force, so he could sense that it was time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did he know? He just picked an arbitrary time to wake up? What happens if they weren't ready for him? Like, how did he... How he could have done this at any moment. Yeah. R2 is the biggest dick in this film. Yeah, even here. Like, right... Like, Poe's right here. Where? How is Ray not present for... Wait! They're standing next to each other! Yeah, they're right next to each other. How did they not meet?! <laughs> Uh, they're in the same shot! <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I'm saying! They're right, like, they're four feet apart! <laughs> what do you mean they didn't meet? <laughs> Freaking Princess Leia's, like, in the way, and she's like, oh, I guess we can't talk to each other, because someone's standing between us! I knew that didn't make sense originally, but, like, that makes even less sense now. Yeah. Even here? Like, what? It's like, I'm Poe, by the way. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I know, we met before. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've got brain damage. Like, all these characters in this film. I think, I think the Return of the, or the Last Jedi, I think, is just a fever dream. By the whole, uh, all these characters, well, it didn't happen. There was a gas leak on uh, the base, they all just... <laughs> they were all huffing too much, like, methane. <laughs> huffing too much spice. Yeah, I just don't understand how her and Poe don't interact. They were standing three feet apart. There's no time. Well, we got. We gotta. Gotta keep going. We've gotta wrap this up. We had too much filler on Jakku. <laughs> yeah, too many jokes. Can't have these characters meet. At least they gave Ray kind of new clothes. She's upgraded. Will. Every main character gets a new set of clothes at the start of each movie or end of each movie or whatever. This this is Ray's uh, yellow jacket. She got to choose her clothes. What I don't understand is why Chewbacca is the one to go with Rey to go find Luke. Why isn't Leia going herself? Too busy? To see her brother? I don't know. But that seems like a Leia level of importance. Oh, C-3PO fixed his arm. Yep. Glad we, glad we spent time to do that. Yep. Okay. We're about to get to the biggest fuck you to the audience. Like, to me, there's no point in Leia not going. Yeah, she should've. But no, they'll bring Chewbacca and R2. And it's clearly not hard to get there. Like, they hyper-jumped there in, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. 
They should bring like a whole fleet. It shouldn't just be one person. Like everyone showed up. <laughs> C3PO's there. Fucking Akbar's there. Luke, we need your help! Luke, it's a trap! <laughs> it's, a, it's a trap, Luke! Nine numbs there, just talking. Looks like I don't I don't understand this. <laughs> Lando shows up. Where'd you come from? <laughs> he was just there. <laughs> we'll stay down here. R2 can't make the can't climb the stairs. Yeah, if anything, Luke should be like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah. Out of all these people, Luke Like, who are you? How did you get this lightsaber? A good story, uh, for another time. Like, how did they even know this was the right island that Luke was on? Was the map that specific? No, they just stopped at every single island. They've been doing this for five days. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's been watching them from a distance. <laughs> you seeing the Millennium Falcon fly just go from planet to planet, just jumping <laughs> hopping between them. Where are all the Porgs? Remember the Porgs? Like, I actually like the Porgs. I, I, they're the biggest cash grab since the fucking Ewoks. I'd argue they're worse than the Ewoks, because the Ewoks at least, you know, fight the Empire. Yeah. The Porgs yeah, just Chewbacca didn't sit eat there. The Ewoks. What's that box? Hmm? <laughs> it's the mystery box. It's the mystery box! It's the MacGuffin! <laughs> Fucking mystery boxes. Also, isn't the, like, geography of this entire island completely changed by the next movie? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's the Porgs and those little, like, friggin' toad people that live here. Yeah, and there's more huts. <laughs> more huts, and there's, like... It's less green. <laughs> yeah, they really let John Williams here cook for no yeah. reason. <laughs> also, Luke is just dressed in these, like, Jedi robes, and he's like, Yeah, but, you know, the Force, is, yeah, I don't care about it anymore. Bad writing! Not even though, this this isn't even the bad part of it. This comes up after the fact. Yeah, but this... She's like, please help me. And he's like, uh, fuck Literally you. the next movie opens with this scene where he just takes it. Yeah, no continuity it. between the two. Like, if you line it up, it doesn't, doesn't work out. There's also way too many shots for them to just be standing here. Say something! Do anything! Boo! Boo. J.J. Abrams and his garbage mystery box theory. Yeah. Well, that was one of the remaining Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. Screw you, Kathleen Kennedy. You know, there were some good parts. I'll give it that. Dan Mendel, you did okay as the DLP. Yeah, production you did design, your job. You, you, yeah, you did pretty good. Editing, not bad. Not bad. Pretty good editing. John, as it's, always, it's, thank you. It's John. You Costumes, wrong. excellent. Good job, Michael. Uh, all you guys, sure. I don't know. Nah, you guys I don't Co -producers, like. Co-producers, fuck you. Roger Giet. Giet. <laughs> Special creature effects? Fuck you and your wombats or whatever the fuck they were called. Alright, well. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have much to say. <laughs> this is just not it, a... This kind of fizzles out. I, you know. It was okay, but a lot of, lot of problems in retrospect. Not a very enjoyable movie, even. Um, but it was alright. Anyway, bye-bye.